Hello, I'm the Budget Mother and this is episode 16 of my Wing Dog Wing Sop with Dolphin Build. If you're watching this, please give the video a like, that'd be brill. Thank you. Today, I'm going to try to simulate the support ribs that you can see under the canvas. After looking at quite a few reference pictures, not just the dolphin, I could see those support ribs through the canvas. So I decided to try to emulate that. First, I thought I'd use one of my metal cutting templates to spray the ribs. But I couldn't see through the small gap to do that. So that's a bust. Looks like it's going to have to be copious amounts of masking tape. So let's crank up the speedy uppy thing and crack on. I also added a light pencil mark on each rib just to make it a bit more visible. There we have two upper wings masked up and are now ready for some paint. I'm going to use Tamiya X26 clear orange for this as in the reference pictures it shows quite orangey so let's get this spraying done. One done, pop that to one side to dry. Two done, and we'll pop that to one side to dry too. And give the first one a second coat. And a second coat for the other one. There we have both done. Now to let those dry to see how they come out. So while they're drying, let's paint the top surface of the upper wing. I hope the lower surfaces are dry. <laughs> As I'm doing the upper wing, I thought I'd do the rest of the fuselage and the lower wings as well while the upper one's dry. Then I can rotate the parts as each layer's dry.
for some reason I found paint drying when using the speedy uppy thing quite interesting because you can actually see it drying across the wing. There's the fuselage and wings painted. Now I'm going to paint the detail on one of the struts. It's the only one like this so it won't take long. I lied. I'm also doing the metal brackets on the struts too. Sorry. Bit longer. That's the struts done. Now let's have a quick look at how the paint has gone down on the wings and fuselage. Looking good so far. Managed to get a bit of tonal variation in there. I'm happy with that. And the wings don't look too shabby either, do they? Now let's unmask the underside of the top wings and see how those clear orange stripes look. Hmm, I wonder. I'm not too sure about these. I don't think I pressed the masking tape down hard enough here or I had the paint mixture too thin or a mixture of both. Either way, I'm not happy with how it looks. Hmm. While I think about this, let's mask up the kite ready for the Irish linen colour on the lower parts. Anyway, let's crack on and get this sorted. There's the masking done and as I wasn't happy with how the clear orange turned out I thought I'd try something a little different for the underside ribs. I'm using Tamiya's XF60 dark yellow to simulate the ribs here so let's crack on and see how this one goes. I've started to mix my paints in these little metal dishes as I found that I can judge the consistency a lot better. I've also used my homebrew thinners here. Well, that's done, and there really are some wibbly wobbly liney winies there, aren't there? I need to work on those, but I'm really happy with how fine I can get those wibbly wobbly liney winies. Now to do the underside of the fuselage. Yes, I stole it. There we go, all done, even with the wibbly wobbly liney winies. I'm going to do that to death, aren't I? Next, we're going to get a layer of the Irish linen down and see what it looks like. Right, there's the first coat on the lower surfaces. 
Let's do a compare. We'll do the underside of the upper wings and see what they look like. There we go, that's the upper wing underside done. What do you think? The clear orange or the dark yellow? Mmm. On that bombshell, come back and watch episode 18. Anyway, thank you very much for watching and if you like what you see, please subscribe to my channel, help it grow, get the message out there to as many models as possible, like the video and ring my bell. Remember folks, stay safe, keep on modelling.